Hi, hello, and welcome back to the 1983 National Football League Draft. And with the first round pick, John Elway, Jim Kelly. Welcome back to the draft. And with the first round pick, Dan Marino and Rudolph's NFL Draft. And with the first round pick, Deion Sanders. I was kind of scared. I thought the show was going to take me. I would ask for so much money that I had to put me on layaway. Welcome back to the NFL Draft. Good young players with the drafts all back. Year in and year out. Welcome back to the draft. Welcome back to the Boston Sports Nerds. This is the Boston Sports Nerds podcast, the BS Nerds show. This is a short cast we're doing just in honor of the 2017 NFL Draft. It's a little preview we got. We got our own little mock drafts. We have what we think is going to happen, trades, no trades. Uh, We got a bunch of stuff to go over here in a very intriguing draft, not just for our New England Patriots, but for all 31 or the other 31 teams in the league. So let's get into it. I know Joe and Aaron, you guys are definitely the college football connoisseurs here. I'm, I'm not as much engaged with this stuff, but Miles Garrett goes first, right? Browns don't move away from that. Uh, unless the Browns are going to brown. Um, the Browns will be Browns. Hashtag Browns going to brown. Um, no, yeah, Miles Garrett is, is the number one pick. And I made my own little mock draft here. And in Joe's mock draft, version uh, 7.0, because I know they like to <laughs> they like to n- number their drafts. And I I'll only say, did one, but I'm going to skip right to 7. I was going to uh, say Kuiper's up to like 4. Yeah, 4. yeah, yeah. In, 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 every in year. April. This yeah. is Joe's, Joe's mock draft 45.0. Uh, I'm <laughs> skipping right ahead. I'm going to b- blow my, uh, Mel Kuiper out of the water. Uh, I, I still have Miles Garrett going first. Yeah, no, I think he's like uh, Clowney. I think he's in – you can't miss – I think he's going to be better than Clowney. I think he's not going to have that rookie sophomore slump. He'll just come in and play. Be a good player right off the rip. So the Cleveland Browns are all set at defensive end. And right? then everything goes to shit <laughs> right, yeah. because no one has any idea what San Francisco is going to do with the second pick. I would say the, the unanimous – or I would say the general consensus seems like Solomon Thomas. That's who I have them taking. Yeah. I also think right. there's a strong possibility they trade out of there. That makes more sense to me. I don't know me. who with, with who, but I think that you, you might see a trade with the second pick. All right. What about you? You got, you got the Niners going Solomon Thomas? That makes sense. Yeah. It makes sense. They need defensive help. They lost – Everybody? Every defensive player two years ago, or last offseason. The last couple of years, everyone's retiring. And And if they do come there and play good, they're like, yeah, no, I'm going to play two years and I'm out. And I'm out. I think it was Solomon Thomas who graded really high as a run stopper, too, and they were like the worst run stopper, run stopping uh, defense. Right. Um, It's interesting to see what the Niners do, too, because with John Lynch being the GM his first year as a GM, the new regime. It's the first time that that front office is running an NFL draft together. Yeah. So what is his intriguing. like contact with the 49ers? He played for the Bucks yeah, that, in Denver week. and came in for a glass uh, of water in New England. That was it. He never played for them. No, but in his post playing career, mm-hmm. he was studying like GM work under John Elway. Mm-hmm. And I think John Elway has a tie with one of the guys in the front office in San Francisco. Like the president of operations or something. Yeah, some, yeah right, there's right. some kind of weird tie, and then that's how <laughs> if he the, got the job. If the Browns Brown. Or no, the head coach. That's how. The, oh, okay. the guy who's the head coach now. Now, you're right. Uh, Shana, is it Shanahan? Kyle Shanahan. Yeah, right. him and Lynch. Right. That's how he Lynch got the job. Even though Lynch technically was announced before Kyle Shanahan was the right. coach, I think it was I think Kyle that was part Shanahan. Of Shanahan's doing. Yeah. Get Lynch yeah. in, and I'll come. That yeah. was on. Um, John Lynch was on MMQB's podcast, or the the, the Peter King one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I listened to it, and no that's kidding. he talked about how he got the job there. That's a really good podcast. Not that I'm trying to tell someone like our fans, like, hey, go check out a different one, but that's a really good interview podcast for yeah. sure. The MMQB, I like that one a lot. Now, if the Browns do Brown. Uh, then Miles Garrett goes second, and it, you don't see a trade. So, so the Niners, no matter what. Yeah, the, Miles Garrett yeah. is going one or two. Okay, all right. Yeah, I don't goes, think he's falling. He only no. goes two. I don't if think he's going to fall. Brown. I just don't know if the Niners go Miles Garrett if no, they have yeah. a trade for something else. Nah, they go Miles Garrett. Still Miles Garrett. Or they trade for a fucking King's ransom. Yes, because someone trades up to get Miles Garrett. Go, right, goes like nuts. He, they absolutely destroy the Dallas Cowboys franchise. Right. Because the Dallas just, Cowboys yeah, trade their them. entire team for Miles Garrett. Now, what do you guys have at three? Because this is where 
it starts to fall apart for a lot of people. Uh, well, most of them, the big name guys, are all saying uh, Jamal Adams. Jamal Adams, right? LSU safety. Mm-hmm. That's that's also who I mocked in yeah. my draft. Is uh, Jamal Adams? And that's I, I, it's who I think is going to go there. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. He's yeah, the best uh, defensive back there is, I think, out there. Yeah. And so, someone told me he might actually be the best corner in the draft, too. Someone told me. I read that somewhere. Yeah. That he might actually be the best corner, like, coverage corner in the draft as well. Wow. Yeah, because he's ranked or he's listed as a safety. He's going to play safety, But he's going to play safety. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but he's, yeah, I gotcha. Um, well, when I said that this is where it starts to fall apart, it's like, okay, there's this one, and then God knows what. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, there's like this, this is like the, the lock of the day or whatever, but... Leonard Fournette is going to the Jacksonville Jaguars, according to this mock draft that I have. Do you guys agree? Disagree? Because this is the Fournette movement to me is a big part of how the first round is going to settle. Like, how, like that's the first card to fall for me that changes a lot of things. Kuiper's got him going fifteenth to the Colts. Right. There's a lot of a lot of range with him. Who does Kuiper have going to Jacksonville? He's got uh, Jonathan Allen, Alabama defensive tackle. All right, yeah. And that's who McShay also has. I have Leonard Fournette going to Jacksonville. Jacksonville, this is why I don't agree with Mel Kuyper. Mm-hmm. Jacksonville just spent a ton of money on Calais Campbell. Uh, and they have uh, another defensive tackle there, too. And, and they got A.G. Boye or Boye. Yeah, Boye. And Barry Church. Yep. This offseason. I don't think they're going to spend. I don't think they're going to get used to their pick on Jonathan Allen, who would essentially play a Calais Campbell esque role. And their running offense, their rushing it's offense awful. last year was horrendous between uh, Ivory and Yeldon. So I well, think wasn't Robinson hurt last year? And I don't think he's on the team anymore. Yeah, they let him go. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. So I think you're going to see. I think it's going to be Leonard Fournette, and you're going to put a good running back in that backfield and help Blake Bortles out a little bit, so he doesn't have to throw 900 picks a, a year. You um, don't think McCaffrey could go there? Nope. I what guess he could, of, but I just think it's going to be Fournette. What did you think of Shannon Sharp saying that if McCaffrey was black, he'd be a top ten pick? He's probably I right. mean, he's going to be a top ten pick anyway. I th- yeah. yeah, I think so too. Well, some think people, gonna... some people think that he's more like around the Colts space. Okay, you know I, mean, I mean, it's like still before. a top fifteen pick. What's right, yeah, wrong yeah, with that? Yeah. Top sixteen. Like, like, how, uh, how is that a problem? But he was saying that he would be treated like one of the top end players. I don't know, and, and, and he's kind of not. He's seen as like the second, third back. I don't know if I a hundred percent believe that. Yeah. Well, see, that, I mean, that was, I, that was Sharp's take. I, I don't know. I don't. I actually. I, don't I mean, wanna, I'm not I don't disagreeing do this with him, but I don't. Yeah, 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 yeah no, no, I don't want to go down that road. My hot take on Shannon Sharp is I can't stand him. Or right, I think he he's says. a total I think dope. He's the worst sports yeah. person there is. I agree. All right, so you have Fournette going. Do you believe Fournette's going to go with the Jags, or they're going to go with Jonathan Allen? I think they'll go with Allen just because they're going to stockpile. They're going to put him behind some of these younger, these older guys, yeah. and they're just going to rotate him, and they're going to have that kind of like the Giants, just rotate him, rotate right. him, rotate him, just keep them all fresh and, and just backs killing. Are kind of dime a dozen, too. Yeah, and I think in this NFL, like we saw Peterson signed mm-hmm. with the Saints, like you can pick up a serviceable back. Right. Jamal Charles still out there. Still out there. Yeah. His so, agent I mean, came out and was like, hey, guys, I don't know if you know, but, yeah, but like, we're, yeah, we're Jamal not Charles, yeah, we're hey, not still, still free. So a lot of people have Tennessee Titans going Jonathan Allen, right, number five. Not Joe. Not Joe. Because you got has, John Allen going. Uh, significantly later. Uh, I have Marshawn Lattimore, cornerback, Ohio State. Okay. Going to That's Tennessee. Tennessee had a terrible secondary last year. Yep. Uh, they got thrown all over, That's and true. Marshawn Lattimore is consensus the top corner on the on the in the draft. Yeah. So I think uh, they take their corner. They take their stud corner. All right. To put across from uh, Logan Ryan, or actually probably ahead of Logan Ryan. But what about you? Where do you get the Titans? I think they need to go corner. I mm-hmm. believe that's the the move. Mm-hmm. That's what uh, I think. McShay McShay had Kuiper has them going. Reuben Foster out of Alabama. Now Reuben Foster. Uh, and how did they get the? How did they get this pick from the Rams? I don't remember. This what. is. Because um, I can't think that they had a. Chip this is part to, of the Jared the Goff trade when when the Rams traded up to get uh, Jared Goff. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, I just couldn't remember. Titans. Right. I'm like, what the hell? I was like, what moving piece? Yeah. Went from one side to the other. Reuben Foster 
uh, got into the fight at the combine with mm-hmm. the uh, medical staff. Right. And then he pissed hot. Is he? Yeah. At the well, he he had a diluted sample. He didn't technically test positive for anything. Right. But his piss was watered down, which means he was probably trying to hide. Right. The fact that. Yeah, there's something going he, on. Yeah, there. He's a weed smoker. So that I think he's going to drop. I don't think he's going to drop a lot, but I think he's going to drop a little bit in this draft. All right, so you have you said they're going to go corner. Do you think they're going Marshawn Lattimore for the Titans? He seems like the top guy. Yeah, he's the guy to go. He seems like the guy that you got to go for. So with the list I'm looking at, they have Lattimore going to the Jets, and they have Allen going to the Titans. So with the sixth pick, they have Marshawn Lattimore going to the New York Jets. Where's the? Where do you guys sit on that? I have Malik Hooker going to the Jets. Uh, safety from the same team from, right. uh, from Ohio State. So yeah. Yeah. they still go defensive back. Um, the Jets' defensive back struggled last year. It's very true. Especially with Revis being not Revis. I can picture them going Reddick, uh, Tem- Temple's linebacker. Hassan Reddick. <laughs> yeah. I like that guy a lot. I think he could go there. Um, <laughs> Kuiper's got uh, O.J. Howard out of Alabama. I think end. that's a dumb pick. I don't, that's what I said. I don't like that pick at all. I don't understand that. Right. They don't need a tight end. I'm going to get a real good tight end so my awful quarterback can That's what I'm saying. Completely. Trade yeah. down, get some picks, get the quarterback you want, or trade for a quarterback. It, barring a trade, though, this might be the first the first time you, the first mention a quarterback comes off the board right here is with the Jets pick. Yeah. First mention of a quarterback. Yeah, yeah. mention, yeah. but I don't think he. W- I don't think they're going to draft a quarterback. I don't think they no, are either. I think they, I think they take Malik Hooker. Well, I, I hope they take dumb. Malik Hooker, right. so I'm right. But I, I, yeah, right. I don't think they're going to take a quarterback. I actually think the Jets are a real big possibility to trade with Cleveland here, move back to 12, uh, take a guy. Yeah, and Cleveland's going to trade up and take the quarterback that they want. All right, that's interesting. All right, so then the Chargers would follow up the Jets. Uh, they have here Malik Hooker listed there uh so you've already got him off the board so who do the chargers go with i this is actually my one pick in my in my entire mock that i don't feel great about and yeah. it's uh mike williams the receiver from mm-hmm. clemson i have yeah. him going to the chargers that's what kuiper has i yeah. think that's a good fit for them i, yeah. I just don't i don't i don't like it i, don't I know think they had i think they need defensive help more than anything because yeah. keenan allen was dead last year yeah, and actually their defense wasn't that bad. Right. They had a lot of injuries on that side of the ball. So maybe Mike Williams is a big game changer, but I just don't – I don't know. I put him there, but mm-hmm. – There's also the possibility of them trading. Like if, say – They could trade Fo- out. I was going to say, or if Foster falls, keeps – like he doesn't get drafted right away. Right. Like you're saying he's going to fall. Yeah. He falls to the Chargers. They they let uh, – um, uh, Manti Teo. Manti Teo walk. They they need that. They need to fill their middle linebacker void. Right. Now That's the, the possibility right there. The Carolina Panthers are on the board. Right. Next. Yep. Here's your great white hope. Yep. Yep. That That's seems to be the general consensus. I've actually the 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 rumors are that it's pretty much a lock. Christian McCaffrey is not getting by the Carolina Panthers. See, I am a little bit different on this. I would not be surprised if Leonard Fournette made it to the Panthers. If he does, that's where he's going to go. Right. Yeah, I don't think th- I don't think one of those two guys is making it past the Panthers. Right. Yeah, but they now, obviously want to run it back. But now, if McCaffrey is still on the board and Fournette, the Panthers go Fournette, then, then McCaffrey has a long ride down to a team that needs a running back. Green Bay. Green Bay, the Indianapolis Colts. You know what I mean? I mean, 15 still isn't bad. Broncos, 20. That, do they need one? They could use uh, they one. They they're they're trying to figure out their quarterback issue. Yeah, you can bring him in. That that spells Booker as well. Right. I don't think. Yeah. I still think it's McCaffrey. I think Fournette will be off the board by now. Yeah, I think that's my my draft upset prediction would be that Fournette. There's is been talks. There at Carolina. There's been talks with San Francisco talking about Fournette at two. Jesus. Right. Yeah. So. Yeah. When was the last time a running back went in the top three? Oh, Trent Richardson. Todd Gurley. When did Trent uh, Richardson go? That was a while ago. That did, was a while ago. Trent when Richardson did he was go? Like five years ago. Four yeah, or five years ago. I don't think he went in the top three, though. Um, did he? To the Browns? Uh, the Browns always did, have a pretty good... He did go to yeah, the yeah, Browns. Probably went down. He's probably that, number two or number three. Trent I think Richardson, he might have been the fifth pick, actually. Was All that right. the Trent Richardson-Brandon Whedon year? Or was that Joe Hayden-Brandon Whedon? I think it was Trent Richardson-Brandon Whedon. Yeah. Because they got a quarterback and running back in the same year. Yeah. Even though their quarterback was a thousand years old. All right, so let's rapid fire through a couple here. Cincinnati Bengals, what do they do? I have Derek Barnett, uh, defensive end from Kuiper's Tennessee. Kuiper's got the Reddick 
kid out of uh, Temple. See, I think they're going to go Reuben Foster. The, uh, yeah, if, need he, an anchor on yeah, if he falls, yeah. if he's still on the board, they go Reuben Foster. The bank, the Bengals need help with the pass rush. Yes. Who do you think the Bills go out and get? Uh, the Bills, I think that's where you get your tight end, OJ Howard. There's a possibility there. Yeah. I have uh, the first quarterback coming off the board to the Buffalo Bills, Mitch Trubisky. To the Bills. To the Bills. So, so I, this the, is so the Browns this, don't trade up and so, get Trubisky. So the way I mocked my draft was a stock thing. I didn't. Right. I didn't no plan moves, trades. Right. I don't think this actually happens because I think the Browns trade up and take Trubisky. Yeah. And then uh, I don't know what the Bills do. Do the Bills need Trubisky? I think they. Uh, there's a there's a real they're real torn about uh, Tyrod Taylor. Yeah. I think they take. I think they want their their guy that everyone believes in. A little franchise type, you know. Yeah. What I mean, like we need to brand him that way. Kuiper's got a well, like Jabril I said, Peppers. Jabril Peppers to the, to the belt. that seems high. Yeah, I think that he's going to fall. I think if, he's going to fall down to at least. The he 20, also, 30th if Rex Ryan return. was there, I would agree. He also yeah. pissed hot. Jabril Did he? Peppers. Jabril Peppers pissed a diluted sample, just like Reuben Foster. It was Jeez. watered down. He's going to follow the second round. New England's going to trade out. New Orleans Saints just signed Adrian Peterson. Right. This is where Reuben Foster comes off the board. And I don't think he – Reuben Foster does not make it by the Saints. Okay, that's fair. It's impossible. Uh, I would give you that. I would give you that. I think they either take – Ohio State's – they either take Lattimore, which is what Kuiper has him as. I can't mm-hmm. believe he has Lattimore that low. That's how he's got him. He's got him at a number 11. I think they either do that or they go for like – there's a pot, there, there's two Ohio State – Cornerbacks. If, if Lattimore is gone, they're taking the other one. Uh, Connolly. Uh, yeah, the guy who just got accused of rape. There's a possibility. <laughs> now, what about Derek Barnett? Maybe. Because I mean, what's their pass rush situation? Uh, not great. Right. I, I, they also have the 32nd pick, though, so they might address it there. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Um, I think that if Ruben Foster is on the board. Yeah. Do you, do you do you see them like filling their void by taking like I know it's a reach to take Ross at this at this point. There's there is no way if if the New Orleans Saints even think even about taking a wide receiver even a tiny inkling gets into their mind about taking any offensive player their GM should be stabbed in the face on sight. Right. But like you said they still have a 30th pick and 32nd pick. It doesn't matter. That draft. team gave up more points. Yeah, Drew Brees goes they're out there and offense. scores 35 and then they lose. Right. I think uh, I think the reason why they were able to expend Brandon Cooks is because they're so loaded. They have yeah. Michael, they have Michael I mean? Thomas. They have Willie Sneed. They have so much Colby there. Fleener. Now they have AP, so they have a little bit consider, more balanced. I wouldn't consider Cooks say they had, being they still have Ingram, right? Yeah. They still have Ingram. Yeah, yeah they still have Marcus yeah. Ingram. Yeah. Yeah. Or what, what is not Marcus Ingram? Uh, Mark. Mike, Mark Ingram. Mark Ingram. Right, yeah. I was like, Mike? Is it Michael? Mitch Ingram? All right, so now... Uh, now we're back G- to the Browns now again. Now the Jimmy Garoppolo pick, right? Uh, so my thing's all fucked up because I didn't I didn't mock in trades. Right. So stock, I have Cleveland here, even right. though I think Cleveland trades up. Yeah. I think uh, if, if they... Let's say they didn't trade up and everything happened the yeah. way it's supposed to. And I have Trubisky off the board already. I think you see Deshaun Watson go to the Cleveland Browns. Oh, my God, no. I hope... I I, hope not. I think that's what happens. Not because I hate him as a person. I just think he's not that great. No, he's not. And and the Browns need a real quarterback. I actually have two. I have have two quarterbacks going back to back here. All right. So I have I have Trubisky or Jimmy Garoppolo as the yeah. That's what I think. I think that's that's gonna happen. I think that trade's gonna. happen. You really think the trade's gonna happen? I think I've fallen completely off of it. I don't know. I don't know anymore. I, okay, I, I, I thought I, I did. Even, it's I either that or it's going to be that the first pick in the second round. I have right. Jimmy Garoppolo as a Patriot, like in my mind. It's it's already he's signed already in. There. He's locked in. There. He's a Patriot. I have even and Tom Brady gets traded next year. The thought of him <laughs> oh, not being Jesus. a Patriot. <laughs> Let's not talk about that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, Arizona Cardinals. What this, do you got? I have Patrick Mahomes, quarterback from Texas Tech. I have Hassan Reddick. Uh, Kuiper. As Corey Davis, the wide receiver out of Western Michigan, a wide not receiver a to Arizona. Huh? That's what he's. Not that's bad. what he's got. Not I guess bad. Larry Fitzgerald Fitz is on his way out. Yeah, not a bad but pick. um, I think they need to get a pass rusher. John Brown, but right there, it just seems like there's a little bit of a. I heard, a gap. I've heard it's strongly speculated that it's going to be quarterback. Wow. Because uh, Carson Palmer is, they had to talk him back into another yeah, year. Yeah, I heard that. Jesus, I think they're going to get uh, a young quarterback. 
that's why I have Patrick Mahomes here because he supposedly uh, has all of the physical traits, like the most physically gifted quarterback in the draft. Mm-hmm. He just has to work on some pro pro ready stuff. So you sit him behind Carson Palmer for a year, let him it's develop. Not a bad fit. It's and not then a bad fit. he can come out there and chuck the ball nine million yards in Bruce Arians offense. And you still have Larry Fitzgerald. Yeah. So maybe not though. The Philadelphia Eagles, <laughs> uh, with the Sam Bradford pick, right? Yes. Uh I have him going John Ross here as just another wide receiver that's going to be extremely fast and drop a lot of balls for the, for the Philadelphia Eagles. See, I, I wonder when that mock was done because mm-hmm. they have Alshon Jeffrey now and they have – Right. I think they got another guy too I can't think of. Um, did they pick up another receiver? I think or they did. I think that? they got another one. The Kenny, Not Kenny Britt. They didn't get Kenny Britt. He um, went to the Browns? Did the, oh, uh, Terrell Pryor? Nope. He no, he went, went to the to, Skins, to right? the Skins. Yeah, you're right. Um, I think the Eagles did get another guy, though. You might be right about that. But I know they got Alshon Jeffrey. I think uh, the Eagles... Alshon e- Jeffrey's on the short deal, though, isn't he? One, One year. year. One year deal. So is... Uh, so is um, I think the Eagles are going to go corner. They need one. I, yeah, I was going to say, they. Uh, Kuiper's got Conley. I have Marlon Humphrey from... I, I had I actually had uh, Gary and Conley on in my mock draft with the Eagles at this spot yeah. until he got accused of rape. And then I moved him. That'll, that's uh, a game changer. Yeah. And now so. now Marlon Humphrey is their corner there All from right. Alabama. So the Indianapolis Colts are up next. They need a lot of help. They need a lot of help. I'm and curious what everyone else has. I'm going to go I'm going to go to Karis McKinley. Tack McKinley? Yeah. All right. That makes sense. Defensive end. Defensive end, outside linebackers, you know, depending on the Pass situation. Rush, Pass yeah. rush. Edge guy. Right. I can see uh I can see Hooker going here. Yeah. Malik Hooker? Yeah. I uh, that I mean, that that's a steal. No, I if know. He fall, yeah, if he falls just saying, that far, like, but yeah, that's... I'm going based upon like what I'm looking at is Kuiper's kind of picks Kuiper here. Has, Kuiper has Hooker all, all the way down there, huh? He has him. Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you when, but yeah, he has him lower than fifth. Jesus. Than fifteenth, he's got a Fournette going there. I love that pick. If that's who they get, holy shit! Yeah, that, 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 makes, that puts them that makes a lot of sense. That puts them top three, top four in the AFC. I have. Um, yeah. I yeah. believe. I have Jonathan Allen going here. The defensive lineman mm-hmm. from Alabama. Yep. And really help that defensive line. He so can you do think it. he's going to drop that far? Yes. Hmm. He's uh, Jonathan he's a Allen. Defensive lineman, right? I could picture yeah, him going a, to the Saints a, too. Uh, Jonathan Allen's like a middle, like a mid, like a defensive lineman. He's not an edge guy. Yeah. He can pass rush from there. So he can, he can stop the run. He can do a little bit. So of he can, he's more of like a a two or a three. The way yeah, he, yeah, the way yeah. he lines up, yeah. he lines right. up more on the. The inside shoulder of the guard. Yeah. An interesting stat about the Colts is they were 30th in defense last year. Uh, Robert Mathis retired. Yeah. And their leading sack uh, accumulator on the team, they didn't re-sign in Eric Walden. Yeah, they're going to need defensive line. They need line a pass out. rusher yeah. bad. You know, whether, and whether it comes from the outside linebacker position, defensive lineman out, whatever, or like I you think, said, uh, some sort of interior rusher. The only rush. reason I think it's Jonathan Allen is, A, because he's, he's, in my mock draft, he started to fall. Mm-hmm. This is a guy who's projected a top 10 talent, and now he's at 15. Right. And he can do a little bit of everything. Yeah. So he kind of helps you in two, in two facets of the game, running, run stopping and pass rushing. I feel like the most underwhelming team to draft this year is going to be the Baltimore Ravens. Because I just don't see how they fix themselves. Like they have a lot of holes, but they seem kind of good, kind of not. You know, I mean, they just seem. I think it's they're going to be. Team. They're going to be pretty much the same team after, like today, and then they will be on Monday. You I, know think, I mean, like by the end of the week, I'm not going to feel any different about that team. I think. I think they need wide receiver help, so I have a wide receiver going to them. Corey Davis, West Mich- Western Michigan. There you go. What about you? I don't know. I. This could also be John Ross. Yeah, this could be a bunch of If Ross of guys. is not taking the idea. I think Corey sense. Davis is a better all-around receiver. John right. Ross is just, just really murder. fast. Right, yeah. yeah. I, I still say, like, if Humphrey or Hooker are on the board, they're taking them. Yeah. But Kuyper's got Forrest Lamp. Forrest Lamp. That was my guy. That's Forrest Lamp. Say. Yeah, the, with the worst name in football. He's actually, a lot of people say he's, like, the best lineman, even though yeah. he's a guard. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah. Um, the best lineman. Bar, bar stool? No, Bleacher Report has him down as Ball State. What did you guys get as a— Western Kentucky. I don't know why. Maybe he split, like, a half of his, like, yeah, college career in one He's and listed in two different schools. Um, yeah, I agree with you. I think that— uh, 
They did lose Steve Smith. He retired. They did yeah. lose Steve Smith. So, so wide receivers in need, but also uh, Rick Wagner signed with the Lions and Jeremy Suta signed with the 49ers. They yeah. lost two of their starting they offensive linemen last year. They do need offensive linemen, too. That's so, what it looks like. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I would say. And you got to keep uh, mm-hmm. your crappy, cor- overpaid quarterback upright. Right, Joe Flacco's and, getting and paid hundred million dollars. It could work out if I actually think Baltimore should take an offensive lineman because good offensive linemen in this draft are at a premium. There right. are like four. That's true. And uh, you can get a good. You can get like Zay Jones, a kid from East Carolina, who's probably not in anyone's mock. He might be, but uh, not for the first round. He'll he's probably going to be a second round pick, so they might be able to scoop him later. What do you got for the Washington Redskins? I have Hassan Reddick going to the Washington Redskins. Yeah, Charles Harris. So they're both – Charles Harris and Hassan Reddick are both edge guys. Mm-hmm. So pass rusher – except Hassan Reddick can actually play linebacker too. Yeah. Um, he kind of does – Hassan Reddick is like one of my favorite players in this draft. And right. At the very beginning I, I have not season, seen him play. At the very beginning of the offseason, he was mocked like 32 to the Patriots. And then he just flew up draft boards like – yeah, through the combine and stuff. Combine and his interviews probably really helped. Yeah, yeah, he just started flying up the draft board. Who do you got for him? Kuiper's got Hooker. Mm. God damn, dude. That's where he he's got him going. High like an 18th, Malik Hooker, not high on Malik Hooker. 18th in the draft. Huh? I don't think he falls that far. Or, I'm sorry, 17 to 17. 17 yeah. Sorry, yeah. Mel so, Kuiper get paid, gets paid for this, not me. So damn, maybe well, he's right. I think they're going to have to do something, obviously, defensively. Right. That's the way I see them. I, going. Hassan Reddick, to me. If if he falls as far, because like I said, he's been flying up, so maybe he goes earlier. But he uh, he can play linebacker. He can drop in coverage. He can rush the passer. He's he's a good player. Right. Uh, Tennessee Titans. I got Mike Williams from Clemson going there. I already have Mike Williams off my board. Right. He's so going for you. I actually have a weird pick here. I have OJ Howard going there. Mm. Yeah, he has not fallen for you yet, or he wasn't taken. No, yet. he hasn't been gone. Ooh. He hasn't been taken yet in mine. You say you think he's going to be? He's going to. They last have there? um. Who's the tight end for Tennessee? For uh. Oh my God! I can't think of his name right Jesus. now. Jesus. Um, I had him on my fantasy team and I forgot it. Yeah. That's gonna bug me. Yeah. He's really good. Yeah. Uh, he's undersized. Oh man. But um, he's he's getting up there in age, so. I think uh, this would make sense. It would give a big, um, big target for Mariota. Yeah. To hit. That's true. No, that's absolutely true. Kuiper's got Humphrey coming off here from Alabama in the corner. There you go. That's where he's got. See, now the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, I feel like draft a running back every so often. Like I just feel like a lot of their picks in the past five years have been first round backs for some reason. And Dalvin Cook is where I have. The Bucks going. I think that that's who the Bucks are going to take, and and because Doug Martin is very hit or miss, and he's suspended fragile. for the first three games. And he's fragile as right. shit, and he's and he's suspended for three games. Doug he's Martin, might, first Delaney three. Walker, Delaney, thank fucking, fucking God, Walker. I need to look that yeah. up, or else uh-huh. I was going to kill myself. For San Francisco at one point, he might. Are you thinking of Vernon Davis? No, no, no. I'm, he was like their maybe. I don't know. He was like their H back. They call it. He plays like. Fullback slash tight end, maybe that's maybe. what he played when he played for. He had, San Fran. he's real good, but he's getting up there in age, so it makes mm-hmm. sense for OJ. Well, it, it can make sense there. Yeah. What are you? Who are we on? Tampa, Tampa Bay. Tampa yeah. Bay. I have a a weird a weird pick here. Who do you got? Uh, I, I mean, I don't. I I can see them going. Who does Mel Kiper have them? He's he's got John Ross. I actually like that, that pick. For I do too. Is that, the other old, side is that an old mock too? Is no, that this before? Is, I just I just made it. Huh. That, today. Like Deshaun Jackson. Yeah, Jackson I printed is there out now, his most reading. Like John Ross. Yeah. Yeah. But, but could you have both of them? I guess you could. But they have. If you think I like their it. slot receiver. Do they still have Evans? Yes. Mike Evans. Yeah. So you'd have three That's stud saying, wide like, receivers. Why I have. Do that? I have this guy. Ch- if you dope. can keep your quarterback out of jail, you're fine. Yeah. <laughs> if he doesn't go down for a rape case, right? At some point in his life, like <laughs> no, he still has his no, pending. That's what I'm right? saying. Florida? That's what I mean. At some yeah. point in his life, yeah. yeah. I have Chidobi Awuzi. Oh, there you go. Cornerback from Colorado. I like it. I think I like this. That. This is a guy that kind of been, has been flying up lately. As some of these corners. Uh, Drop for various reasons. I can so. see them going. Uh, yeah, no, I can see that. I, I can see like. I think they need corner help. Yeah, like Kevin so. King. 
I have Washington. King, I have Kevin yeah. King going a little later. Mm. All right, so what about the Denver Broncos? This is an offensive line pick, if there's ever been an offensive Ryan line Ramsey. pick. Yeah, that's where I Ryan have Garrett Ram- Bowles. Okay. Offensive yeah. tackle Utah. Yeah. All right, I got Ryan I actually, Ramsey. Actually, I really like Ryan Ramsey, and mm. he didn't end up in my first round. Ooh. Wow. Yeah. Check that out. Who do you have? That's who Kuiper has. Ramsey. Ramsey. Yeah, I think that's where he's at. I think, I think it's going to. That's a good fit. It's going to be either Bowles or Ramsey. Yeah, yeah. Um, Detroit Lions, um, Gerard or Gerard Davis? Yeah. Uh, they need an anchor. I have Tack McKinley going to Detroit. Rush the go. passer over there. There you go. And Kuiper has Kevin King. Hmm. That's the corner? Yep, yep. out of Washington. Across from Darius Slay. I, I could that see could it. be a good... Secondary. That's a formidable secondary. Yeah. Especially in the NFC. I think this next pick for the Miami Dolphins uh, doesn't make any sense to me at all. Malik McDowell. Defensive lineman? Defensive tackle. You don't, we're, we yeah, don't need what? him. You don't need him. That's a weird pick. You do not need him. I have Miami taking Forrest Lamp, a guard from West, Western Kentucky. There you go. Kuiper's got... The Forrest Lamp. Uh... <laughs> Gerard Davis out yeah. of Florida. Right. The linebacker. I mean, that could be a good fit. I, I don't know. They're, a linebacker they're one of makes the, sense to me. A defensive lineman doesn't when you have Cameron Wake and Adam Kinsu already. Yeah, I don't, you know I don't I mean? get like, that. Well, they let – um, did they let Mario Williams go? Yeah, Mario Williams is I'm gone. I'm just saying but yeah, but that's yeah. – they're trying to fill a void. Yeah. That's a possibility. But I just think that they are, they are a void. There's been a well, yeah, I, I don't think they're – I think they need offensive line help. Yeah. That's I, a, a like you me, said. Garrett Bowles or – uh, or the other one would have fit. Forest Lamp. Yeah. No, not for, no, not Forest Lamp. Uh, Ramsey. Oh, right, right. Fit, the, right. The, yeah, if yeah. he falls, yeah, that's have, where have, they should go. I guess there's been a significant hype building yeah. that Forest Lamp is going to go to the Dolphins, which is why I mocked it. Like, I did my mm-hmm. mock draft last night, and, like, I guess there's, like, a lot of Forest Lamp hype in Miami. So. Yeah. Huh? Speaking of Miami and their, their draft either. picks, yeah. number one pick X amount of years ago, retired. Yeah. Jake Long. Nice. He retired. Very oh, good. Really? Like yeah. a week ago. See, I got Garrett Bowles going here to the New York Giants. I Are have you... uh, Cam Robinson, uh, offensive tackle from Alabama. Yeah, no, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah. they, need, He's like they the, need it. It's, Do you have Ramsey off the – oh, you said you don't have Ramsey in, in the first. first. That's right. That's right. Uh, Kuyper's got Charles Harris, this Missouri could... defensive end. I think oh, you could – whatever your offensive tackle is, you could kind of just cycle through those three. Right, yeah, it's going to yeah, be Cam Robinson, Ryan Ramzik, or Garrett Bowles, whatever the team likes, whoever they like through individual meetings. They're... Zach Cunningham will win defensive rookie of the year for me. In Oakland? In Oakland. That's weird because he's who? not going to be there because Jared Davis is. <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, who, Zach, who you... Zach Cunningham. What is he? He's the inside linebacker from Vanderbilt. Uh, right, I think he's going right. to be playing inside with Khalil Mack. He's going to be kind of the free-roam guy. Oh, okay. and, whew, man. I think Mac would be the free room guy. No, Mac's going to be. Hey, He's going to come no, out. Mac and draws just, the attention. Mac's going to say, "Go kill the quarterback." Right. I think Mac draws the the guys. The That's guys. what I'm saying. But I'm thinking he's the guy that like kind of has free reign to go do what he wants. Yeah. This kid's going to be if if that's who they go with. He's mm-hmm. going to be more along the lines of, "Hey, bet you're the guy that kind of just sits in the middle and waits. Mm-hmm. I don't We're going to attack with." I Mac. don't have Zach Cunningham in my first round either. Ooh. Okay. Jared Davis is the pick. That's what I. That's uh, who I right. have. Who, uh, I think you guys have him off the board already. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he was picked. Uh, uh, Kuiper has them going. Travaris White. Okay. LSU cornerback. Tredavious yeah. White. They do need a corner too. Yeah. Whatever. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's too many um, syllables. Yeah. No. Well, there's like there's yeah. a there's a like I'm, a hyphen in in there. Yeah. Like, I don't know. Trey I don't hyphen or apostrophe. Apostrophe. I'm sorry. sorry. Davius. Yeah. It's tough. Houston uh, Texans, uh, I, I, despite not having a new quarterback. <laughs> what do they, they say? Uh, Cam Robinson. To yeah, that's what, uh, that's, what, that's what Kuiper says. Yeah. I have Deshaun Kaiser, quarterback from Notre Dame. Oh, you, you're going the quarterback. Huh? I think they need one desperately. And right. I think uh, Kaiser is one of the guys that everyone thought would be the best quarterback coming into the draft. And he's kind of like falling out of favor a little bit. Yeah. He's going to slide. I can see them going Cunningham or McKinney out of LSU. Or, uh, no, not LSU, uh, UCLA. All right. Now the Seattle Seahawks. Both are linebackers. We're in our final seven picks here. So Seattle Seahawks, I'm going Kevin King 
uh, kind of load up the Legion of Boom. That's who I have, Kevin King. He's yeah. big. Especially if so they keep so. talking about trading. 6'3", 32 They keep talking arms. about trading him. Sherman. And, if and they, even if they don't. No, I'm, I know, but yeah. I'm just saying. Kevin right. King is big. He fits their mold. That's what they mm-hmm. like. Yep, 6'3", 32. Big physical receiver. Or er, corner, I'm sorry. 32-inch arms. Yeah. Jesus. He's a big dude. He's a big boy. Uh, what do you got for the Seahawks? Uh, Kuiper has them going Jarrett Bowles. Bowles? Bulls, 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 Garrett Bulls, yeah, Garrett Bulls. Oh, Garrett Bulls, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, out of Utah, the they do need tackle. offensive line help. It, it would bad. help, they especially do, yeah. they have one of the worst offensive lines. If you want to keep your star quarterback healthy mm-hmm. and not always having to be on the run, right? Jesus, uh, that could be. This could be Ryan Ramzik too. Yeah, yeah. If he if he gets better. since I don't have yeah. him in my first round, it could be Ryan <laughs> Ramzik. Yeah, it's not a bad one. Um, I see Kevin King there, though. And yeah, he just, he he reads, just fits Seattle. Yeah, he reads like Seattle a secondary so much. Yeah, uh, Kansas City Chiefs. I'm going Patrick Mahomes. Mahomes. This was my Mah- Mahomes this was boy. my hardest pick to make. Yeah, to to mock to. So I have Tre'Davious White, cornerback from LSU, there. Okay. Uh, to put across from, uh, what the hell is his name? I know what you're talking about the young kid that is there. Yeah, the really good their corner. stud over there. Yeah. Now. Who? Man, the corner for the Kansas Chiefs. Kansas City Chiefs. I can't think of his name. Yeah, I know. He's Just, a stud, it, but yeah. they're going to put him across from Tredavi- – they're going to put Tredavious White across from him because they they were kind of having a problem with that mm-hmm. other corner spot. I feel like it's Justin something or other. I, I can't think of it, and I don't want to look it up. Yeah, so. no, I got you. I can see them going like Taco Char- Charlton. That's the best name in the draft. It's a god-awful it's, – it's like naming your kid – Forest Lamp. No, no, all right. Who names their kid Forest Lamp? Listen to those two back to back. That should be a. Taco Charleston, right? Awesome fucking football name. Is it Forest Lamp? I think we should do a social media uh, segment just for tomorrow. Who has a better name? Who has a better name? Taco Charleston or Forest Lamp? Oh, Taco Charleston all day. I think they're both god awful. Oh my god. Who would name their kid Taco? And and I don't I think that's that. his real name. I love that name. It could be like Pac-Man Jones where they just let him use his nickname. Yeah. Cadillac Williams. In the video game, it says Cadillac. Uh, what was his name? I don't remember his actual name. I, I think name. it was his Car- actual Carnell. Name? His Carnell. actual Carnell. name? Carnell Williams, yeah. Is yeah. Vedante. Vedante? Vedante Charlton. Not Taco. Just call him Tay. Taco. Call him Taco. Tay. Him Taco. Yeah. Call him Tay. No. Call him Taco. Ta- Taco. No. Taco Charlton. But, uh, is, that, can... is that who they have going there? Kansas City? No, no, they got, uh, what's his name? Oh, they got uh, Cunningham out of Vanderbilt. There's the linebacker. All right. All right. What about the Dallas Cowboys? They had a great draft last year. The the Dallas Cowboys are taking a trip to Mexico and getting some tacos. Taco Charlton, that's Taco where I have them too. I got my man, Taco Charlton. I had a corner. I had a, I had a corner mocked here. Yeah, uh, but uh, Gary and Conley had to go rape people, and now my corner thing had to all shift. So they they settle for a pass, uh, pass rusher because most of the good corners are gone. Marcus Peters. Marcus Peters. Yep. Son of a bitch. That was gonna drive me crazy. Derek Barnett out of wow, Tennessee. That's where he has Derek Barnett. That's where there, he's got him huh? going. Yeah. Um, in the defensive end. That's about uh, almost twenty picks after I have Derek Barnett going. I cannot <laughs> wait. For if this comes true, I, I'm really gonna like this pick. I know exactly who the pick is already for yeah. Green Bay. Yeah, Be, uh, who you're talking about? Who's that? T.J. Watt. T.J. Watt. I like that for the Packers a lot. He went to Wisconsin. I'm gonna yeah. hold. I'm gonna hold that, but keep going. No, that's it. No, he went to I Wisconsin. Have TJ, I have T.J. Watt too. That's him and, him and Clay Matthews. It's a good fit other. over yeah. there. Yeah. They got the. Um, I can't even spell. I can't say his first name. Are you kidding me? The bottom. Oh, to care. Oh, to Tack. They have Tack McKinley. Going uh, there? Yeah, they got him going there. Yeah, and he has weird. He has such a weird. That is a weird one. Wow. All right, let's rattle off the last three real quick. Uh, we'll finish up our, our yeah. short cast here. We got the Pittsburgh Steelers. Now, Martavis Bryant just was reinstated. Yep. Right. It's a good weapon. Though I still think they're going to go Corey Davis. Another receiver. Another receiver. Yeah, that's weird. Because they've been three, four wide receivers deep yeah. for a long time. Yeah. Kuiper's got Z- Zay Jones out of East there's Carolina. That, there's that uh, receiver I was talking about. Yeah. Possibly uh, that Baltimore could get in the second round if they decide mm-hmm. to go uh, lineman. Yeah. McShay has them taking T.J. Watt. 
I love that for the Steelers. Yeah. They need linebacker help. Yes. Yeah. I have them going tight end. That's true. Uh, tight end there. David Njoku uh, from Miami, mm-hmm. who's another stud. It's like O.J. Howard's 1A, and he's kind of – well, he's like 2, but he's – real good too and they haven't had a really great tight end in pittsburgh for a long time that's true yeah so they've always had like reliable one but not yeah. like a stud one yeah not right. like a complete game changer now in your super bowl 51 losers the atlanta falcons i have them addressing the defense the pass rush even more <laughs> jordan willis jordan willis yeah yeah same here edge guy from kansas state uh kuiper has taco going here uh, my man taco charlton I like that for them. They yeah, I like need. That. They, I like. It's that. the same kind of yeah, 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 edge yeah. guy. Serve the same purpose. Yeah, yeah. Who does the Saints pick uh, with the Patriots? This is, this is the Patriots pick. Yeah. What do you mean? <laughs> this is the Patriots pick. Uh, it's it, still not gonna. I don't see be, them trading. And it will be traded back for Jimmy back, Butler along uh, with the second pick of the Saints. Jimmy Butler. Pick. Jimmy Butler's gonna go play. Jimmy Butler. He's gonna go play corner. Sorry, I've mixed, I've mixed Jimmy, Jimmy Butler. I like that. Let's trade Jimmy Butler. No, the New Orleans Saints are going. According you, to this, God, sorry, Deshaun Watson. What? I think they they're gonna wait on a court. I think they do. Well, get that's a quarterback. what I was gonna say. Could you picture them trading for Garoppolo? Tra- Garoppolo with this pick? Uh, I don't think that's deep. There's no way the Patriots would get that pick back either. No, I'm just saying. But that. could you imagine? That'd be yeah, weird. That'd be nuts. Uh, I don't think. I think they go on. They're going corner. Yeah, there's they in. Kuipers, he's got a, a Dory Jackson out of UC, U, UIC. I, I have a Dory Jackson here, but this is the only pick I have where I have an either or. Mm-hmm. And it's if New Orleans Saints are okay with rapists, they take Gary and Conley. Right. If they aren't, says a lot. They yeah. take a Dory Jackson. There we go. So. All right, we'll see. Kuipers got them taking two corners in the and, first round. And I just want to mm-hmm. let you know if they take Gary and Conley. At thirty-two, that is a that is a steal. A super, I mean, this kid is supposed to be like, I think he was like the number three rated corner, and he's gonna fall all the way to the end. So yeah, yeah we'll see. We'll see if they're okay with rape. All right, and it's all about lots of hurricanes, <laughs> knee, knee deeps and hurricanes. Deep and rape. Yeah, that's all he's got to do, man. Hurricane, hurricanes, and I mean, kind of go, you know, a little hand Hurricane hand. Katrina, right? I mean, they Hurricane. might because of that go a different way, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, this has been the Boston Sports Nerds short cast. Uh, this is for the 2017 NFL Draft first round preview. We're excited, as I'm sure you guys all are, to see what happens. And as Patriot fans, you can snooze through Thursday. Uh, Friday wait, as well. Friday as well. And yeah. you can just wait for the ESPN alert and hope that Jimmy Garoppolo or Malcolm Butler gets traded and you get your way back into that draft. But if not, and then your phone stays it's silent, gonna be fucking... It's the- the first School time, off. I don't have to like sit there and go, oh, God, and, and, they, and wait there for three hours, and they finally get the pick, and then they right. go, New England Patriots trade pick to the eliminate- Baltimore Ravens. But, God, yeah. damn it. <laughs> the only, the you only, eliminate the torture. The only reason I'm even going to pay attention to the first round is to see who my Madden team is next year. Right. I'm with you there. And also, <laughs> I, got a, I got a fantasy football league that does rookie exemptions. So. Oh, yeah, yeah fantasy yeah. football, too. That's right. uh, yeah. If Leonard Fournette goes... To Panthers or Jacksonville or I like them on the Jags a little bit. Yeah, Indy is unreal. That's real good for them. I, th- I like Christian McCaffrey on the Panthers too as a too. Fan- as a late round fantasy Me pick. Me too. Me too. So we will tune into the draft and uh, we will catch you guys with our regular podcast later in the week. All right. Rate, review, subscribe. That's right. Yeah. Nice plug. Nice yeah. job. <laughs> John Dolphin on a shady Saturday. Welcome back to the draft. Defensive line, the wide receiver, running back, back on quarterback. So I get into that. Wow. Prime time looks like you're wearing your signing bonus. No more sales. Welcome back to the NFL draft. And with the first round pick, Eric Dickerson. Reggie Boyce, welcome back to the draft. And with the prime time pick, Keyshawn Johnson.